Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Zaxxon on Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released, I believe, in 1984, maybe 1985, by US Gold. Hang on a minute, elephant in the room, listen to this. What a title screen. I mean, I know it's the early 80s, but come on, US Gold. Is that really the best you can do? I've never played this, and I've never played the arcade game, but I know it's quite a famous arcade game, released by Sega in 1982. Now, I wanted to see if this was available on the Amstrad, because as far as I can tell, the magazines which I saw the artwork for back in the day, I think it was Crash Magazine, um, said Spectrum and Commodore. There's a bunch of other versions on different systems, like the ColecoVision, but they weren't done by US Gold. Bear with its sound and its graphics, because it's a very, very early game. But, in the arcade, yeah, 1982. Now, yeah, went to Wik Wikipedia to see if it was released on the Amstrad. It could be, it does not say it wasn't, but it says, Zaxxon was the first game to employ axonometric projection, which lent its name to the game Axon, from axonometric projection. The type of axonometric projection is isometric projection, otherwise known as fake 3D. But, you know, whatever floats your boat, in naming your game. Right, so it's an isometric side-scrolling-esque shooter where you basically have to fly along a heavily fortified space battleship. You can go up and down as well as left and right, which is kind of very unique at the time, as were the graphics. And if you look on the right, you have fuel, so you have to shoot, I believe it's the yellow things. I honestly don't know. I've never played this, never played it in the arcade, to keep your fueled Fueled? You're fueled. <laughs> your fuel topped up. And obviously, as you can see here, the up and down mechanic means that there are obstacles in your path. Apologise that it's a bit flickery, but it's making me feel incredibly nauseous as well. But like I said, 1984, 1985, in Sinclair ZX Spectrum land, I don't know. But um, it's kind of one of those games which gets a lot of flack, but US Gold will bring us Sega Arcade ports. Right, let's get into it. Thank you. Right, one player. Keys, skill level, easy. Now, all these early US Gold games, if you think back to Beachhead, which I played recently, and a bunch of um, Ocean games, they all have a, th this basic sort of um, screen to start on, which I kind of like. Simple. Uh, does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, number of players, one player only. Cave, define keys. Do like it. That a really early game lets us define keys. There was no excuse for not doing this. Right, uh, left, right. Dive. Um, so that would be A, which is down, climb, Q, does that work, or should I invert it? I could have made a massive mistake. Right, so anyway, 48k beeper sound, you'd think the title screen sounded a bit bants, based on the demo, on the demo. um, well, it sets uh, a trend, shall we say, S, yes, there we go. Right, okay, thank you. Keep up with me, computer. Keep up with me. Sign on player. What? Oh, hang on, what's my name? Um, Tits McGee. Oh, come on. Well, let's be boring then. We'll just go with Dave. I wonder if that's accurate to the. Well, no, you wouldn't sign on in the arcade, would you? I don't know. Maybe I should have played this on uh, Wame? On Mame first. Or maybe I should have got a white stick. Enter. Press any key, player one. Day. That, to be fair, would have blown my mind as a kid. I should have inverted the controls. Right, so all your gubbins, fuel on the right is important stuff. Yeah, the blue thing on the left is your uh, automator. Is that what it is? Right, so we can stay out of reach. It's kind of Star Wars we'll Death Star run, isn't it? Right. Oh, rockets. And. So, I'm not at their height, but you can't tell because I attribute clashed out with them. Good to see that, you know, going with a black background was probably the best thing. So, how low do I have to go? Hey, you know what I mean. Right. Watch out for him. 
Right, I, I like, actually do like that explosion effect and how it cuts into your dashboard. Uh, obviously, that's what you use the blue thing on the left for, but I, it's, for me, it's really, really awkward and tricky, and I'm trying not to have a seizure and or throw up from that flickering, which is giving me a massive headache. Can I shoot anything? Well, let's find out. Oh, rockets can't move left and up and down at the same time. I got a shadow. That's quite useful. I just noticed that. We better go up. Oh, right, and then we'll go down. Sure. Bollocks. Just knocked my Pepsi over. Oh well. Hey, was that me? Did that do anything for my fuel? I don't know. In various other questions. Such as where's the bird? This can I fly over or can I fly right? I can fly over. Right, get in. Oh, you know what? It's not terrible. It's such an early game. He says, "How am I going to do this? This is just completely hit or miss, isn't it?" Yeah, I mean, if you think about what it's doing for such an early game, what ultimate stuff was out at the time? How do I? Can I shoot anything else to get my, you know, points up? Yes. Yes, I can. Blow those things up. It is fuel. The yellow things are fuel. Good to know. Right. The pink dots on the floor are what far those things. Rockets, I believe they are called. <laughs> Shit balls. I would have been... Um, again, I'm, I'm guessing 84, maybe 85. You as gold were very hit or miss. Thanks for putting me right back to the start of the level. But I would have been alright with this. I mean, you didn't really notice sort of the flickery effect so much as a kid. You just assumed that's what computers did. Right down. Oh, that was a bit cheeky. Oh, up, 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 up. It takes so bloody long to go up or down that you kind of miss your, uh, your chance. Your window, if you will. Oh, we're not up there. To shoot. Petroleum. That's right, I call it petroleum in a space game. Could have gone right there. I don't even want to look at my score. Right, your fuel absolutely pisses down. Space travel. It's a tad expen expensive. Is it bad for the planet? Or the universe? Don't tell Greta. Oh wait, I couldn't give a flying fuck what that idiot thinks. Yay! Let's shoot your spaceships, even though... Know, None of them have taken off. I wonder if they take off later on. Right, i got to get up in a minute, haven't I? Because this is where I got shot in the face last time, I believe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Get up! Get up! Where's the gap? Where's the gap? I'm too close to the edge of the screen. Okay, so we made it off um, the space freighter battleship, which apparently likes to build brick walls. Oh, okay, now we're in space. So these will be the fighters I slagged off, so that's entirely on me. And I've immediately noticed a problem. How do you know? Oh, look at that. Slow down. I'll let you off again. It's totally 80s. There's too many of them for me to go up or down because this is weird. I've got no shadow. There is no, um, you know, floor, ground, if you will. So how do I know how low to go to shoot them? I don't, apparently. And, oh look, my fuel doesn't run out. I'm not sure what trick I've discovered in, in space. Maybe solar wind. Right. Hey, I got one. This this bit's weird. Uh, I guess it's accurate to the arcade. I don't know how difficult it is in the arcade. If there was an extra gauge or something, or I don't know, to let you know how low you are in accordance to the bad guys. Axonometric. Word of the day, can't believe they use that as a naming convention. Maybe I'm missing a trick, maybe that's something that, you know, it had to exist before isometric became a word. Right, we're going back to, we're going back to stuff. What's that? Oh, it's, it's in the background. It's space. Space cadet. Press any key, Dave. What did that do? What am I, wait, what? Did I not shoot enough shit? I didn't shoot enough shit. No, I did. Oh, that was weird. Why did it? I don't, oh, this is, this is. How am I going to get any fuel in this stage? This is properly mixing it. Oh, fuck off. 
Okay, I'm assuming that on... No, I was going to say I'm assuming that they can't hit me. How am I supposed to... That's... That's just not gravy. Honestly, that's just not gravy. Obviously, I'm too bloody close to the start of the screen as well. Front of the screen. Start of the screen. There's no way I'm getting down there to get fuel. I'm assuming I do have to go a little bit lower here. Look. I don't know what I'm dying on. Is that that weird force field that I have bugger all chance of avoiding? Wow. It didn't take long to get bloody... Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, I did it. It's very difficult to work out. I've... We'll have one more go. Um, well, I'm number one, of course, because why not? Doesn't take long, does it, really, to, like, yeah, ramp it up. I'll probably get around to do a gameplay of the arcade at some point, just so i got some point of reference for the, whether this is good, bad. I mean, I probably would have been alright with it as a kid. As an adult, I know it's hurting the bad words out of my eyes. Right, and also, there's no excuse for sound being this shizen, even then. In fact, I'd probably go as far as to say I'd rather have no sound. Look at this cheeky little manoeuvre. <laughs> Cunt, uh, I don't know, stuff, things, Saxon. I mean, if you played this back in the day on any version, console, I mean, was it on the Amstrad? I'm assuming it must have been pretty good on the Commodore. This sort of game I would have... Well, no! Isometric! Because they didn't like doing the Ultimate games, but then this is entirely a different sort of bucket of fish, isn't it? No idea why I said that. Oh, look! I've got water fire! Just change it. Can I? Too, too late. Again, I don't know. The spacing and stuff. Is that accurate to the arcade? I got shot by a missile, didn't I? I can imagine that it's accurate put me straight back to the start of the level because that would have been an arcade trope, wouldn't it? Definitely back then. My eyes hurt. Look what I do for you. Although, to be fair, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you probably turned off ages ago because it's probably making your eyes hurt too. I'm sorry. Let's fly to the left of the wall so we don't have to fly over the wall. Let's try and get to shoot this thing. Hey! Move away from the missile. Fly up a little bit. Too many surface guns. Some on the surface, some on the towers. Point of the quote. Up over the wall. They do like their brick walls in space. Hmm. So yeah, anyway, let's round up. It's not terrible. I guess you've got to take it with a pinch of salt because of its age. As an adult. It is hurting my eyes. Oh, and again, how do you make it through that fuzzy electric wall thing? That seems a little bit kind of just chance. I'm probably, I'm sure there's probably more an element of skill for that bit in the arcade, but I don't know. I guess they were trying to replicate replicate the effect of it, and that's the best that they could do. US Gold, because like I said, US Gold did some good games later on, sporadically, eventually, but a lot of their early stuff, although you know, famous like. Um, Beachhead and Raid Over Moscow. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of their early stuff was pants. And they used to just hire other companies, such as Ocean and Gremlin Graphics, who would, yeah, make some of their better games. I mean, I always felt a bit kind of Gremlin Graphics made Gauntlet, um, and they got credit for it on the Spectrum, which is a fantastic port, but not on their own label. Anyway, let's call it quits. Zaxxon. Axon Numetric or something on Sinclair ZX Spectrum. It's not terrible. Uh, it's a bit painful on your eyes, but anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, uh, regardless of what version you had this on, but also on the Spectrum. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.